Now, did you know that Louisville has a long history with eclipses, but not in the way you might think. Wave News reporter Alina Noakes has a look at the lesser known side of Louisville's history with America's favorite pastime. Before the Louisville Bats played here at Slugger Field, Louisville's first ever professional team played in the West End at Eclipse Park with a team by the same name. In light of the 2024 total solar eclipse, I began to wonder what was the origin story behind the first ever professional baseball team. Here's what I found out. The most well-known association of the Eclipse and Louisville baseball is the professional team that entered the American League of 1882, but the history goes even further back. 1858 was the year baseball really planted its roots in Louisville with two amateur teams, the Louisville Club and the Louisville Eclipse Club. The Eclipse Club would be the predecessor to the 1880 Eclipse semi-professional team, which played at Eclipse Park in the West End. In 1882, the first professional team by the same name joined the American League League, officially bringing Louisville into the world of Major League Baseball. The uh, Major League Louisville Eclipse team played from 1882 to 1884, and then after 1884, they renamed to the Louisville Colonels. The Eclipse's stint in professional baseball was short-lived, but its impact was undeniable. Still, there is very little history on where the team got such a unique name. That's where one can find the root of several theories, including one that suits Louisville very very well. So there is one theory, one thread that um, myself and some other sports writers kind of think is the origin or the inspiration, and it's from a racehorse called the Eclipse, and that bloodline is still in thoroughbred horses today. So I think carrying on that tradition of excellence and trying to live up to that excellence is um, a great idea. Another theory is that the total solar eclipse of 18 1969, which had Louisville in the path of totality, made a big enough impact to inspire the namesake. It's a bit of a stretch, but still fun to theorize at a time when Kentucky is at the center of another total eclipse on April 8th. And on that day, Louisville Slugger Museum and Factory is taking the time to celebrate both moments in history. We are always eclipsed crazy uh, here at the museum, and obviously Louisville Slugger has quite the tie to the eclipse with uh, the, the iconic name being named after Pete Browning, who played for the Louisville, uh, who played for the Louisville Eclipse, and lo and behold, his nickname, of course, was the Louisville Slugger. To commemorate that, the museum has made special eclipse bats that glow in the dark. To make it even more special, the museum will also be marking another pivotal moment in baseball history on the same day when Hank Aaron eclipsed Babe Ruth's home run record 50 years ago. At Slugger Field, Alina Noakes, Wave News.